All right, this one's gonna be on clip menu. It is a simple clipboard manager and it supports, um, what is that? D menu, FCF, Rofi and Rofi scripts. I'm not actually sure what Rofi scripts is. I haven't used it in a while. But today we're gonna do it with FCF and pretty simple program. You do need to start the daemon. So they have like this um, program called clip menu D or daemon. And you need to add that to your auto startup, or you can start it manually. But I usually just add it to my um, auto startup here. So if I do um, X profiles, so this one's in your home folder. Um, dot X profiles here, right? And you just need to add this line here: clip menu D, and then little and sign. And that you know, whenever you log in, it will start up automatically. Um, so that's one way to start it. I mean, you can just start it in another way. I'll show you um, in my script here. But uh, let's say we copy some stuff, right? So let's say, for example, um, I copy some stuff. What is that one here? We'll copy this. Copy. Um, let's say we copy multiple lines here, right? And also, let's say we copy using this way. And then we also copy, uh, you know, let's say some of these. And then some of these. And then let's say this feature one here. What was that one here? Multiple lines. Copy all of them. Right. So now we have that, um, you know, in our um, history. So um, this is the script here. We'll launch it manually here. How about that? So in here we have history. And you see how it has like. Um, <coughs> Like the ones that has like uh, multiple lines, it'll say like nine lines here, three lines, uh, four lines, so on and so forth, right? So uh, if I wanted to copy, let's say this one with three lines here, or whatever it is, we'll put that in our, um, you know, top of our history, and then let's say I open it with um, a blank file here. So if I want to paste it, look at that, we'll paste it, and let's say I do another one. Let's see here, menu, we'll do history, and let's say we copy, uh, let's say a single line, how about that? This um, system CTL here, we'll paste it, all right? And let's say we do it again, menu, and then let's say we wanna copy that feature, nine lines here. Um, so we'll paste that, and that's pretty much how that works. You know, you can do this, um, you know whatever um, your clipboard manager um, supports here well which by the way they use this uh, I'm not sure if you can switch this out but it says that it uses X select right and so maybe in the future you can actually uh, switch it out to use it with other um, clipboard management like X clip if you're on Wayland it's like W L copy if you're on a Mac it's like PB copy and then like if you're on Android it's like Termux copy set or something like that um yeah you know maybe in the future it'll actually have more support for other um clipboard um they can use but right now it's just it's x select so i guess it's only bounded to x11 um you know environments but that's how that works simple you know you can do this with terminal stuff too let's say if i open uh some man page we'll do some tmux or something like that yeah so let's say we copy the synopsis here We'll copy the description. And let's say we do like a single line or something like that. Let's see here. Let's say I do this one here. All right, let's say I do this one here. Did I do it right? Let's do it again. So there you go. Let's do another one just in case. Uh, okay, let's see this one. So now if I do all that, I can actually access it with um, clip menu. And then we do um, history here, right? So those are the stuff that we copy, even the description. Let's say I want to copy the, or paste this description line here, right? There's 11 lines in there. I can do that. And there we go. So that's pretty much how I manage um, clipboard, you know, between terminal and GUIs. If, it, if I was doing this just like pure terminal, I'd just use like Tmux. But um, sometimes, you know, you copy some stuff from, uh, you know the GUI web browser or something like that and you want to access it from your terminal then this is the solution uh, if you want to do that right 
Um, so as far as the little script I wrote here, let's see here. It's pretty simple. If I uh, get out of that. So clip menu. Uh, it's just a case statement. Like if you use like um, the history thing, it's gonna it's just gonna export uh, this environmental variable they have, which is CM launcher, and you set that to FCF if you want to use the FCF. You can use it with D menu role field, whatever it is, right? And then you run the um, you know the, the terminal command, which is just clip menu. So you actually just run that in here and clip menu if you like. Um, by default, it opens with uh, D menu, like I said. But if you use it with this environmental variable, let's see here. Uh, we'll do that, and then we'll do um, what is that? Uh, clip menu. It should pop up with FCF now, and then it does see. So if you want to do that in Peer Terminal, um, then that's how you would do it. But uh, I also added clear because they don't actually have a way to clear their clipboard history, <clears throat> which is kind of annoying. So what we did here was that we're just gonna, you know, kill the daemon and then like delete a certain folder and then start the daemon up again. And that's how you would, you know, clear and stuff like that. Um, they don't have a way to restart either. So I just did the same thing, just, you know, kill the daemon and then start it again. Same thing with stopping, right? Um, oh, they have this um, password mode. Uh, what was that one here? Right, so if you want to disable the clip menu D, then you can do that. And this one is like when you're using it for a password or something and you don't want to save it to your history, you can do that. And then afterwards, you can enable it again, right? Uh, if you want to start or restart it here, since if you don't want to add this to like your auto startup, like we did with X profiles, and then you're going to start it here if you like, right? So this one is to restart or start, doesn't matter. And this one, if you want to stop it completely, um, if you want, you can stop it, right? Um, so pretty much it, that's it, you know? And, and the commands that you use for enabling or disabling is just, uh, it's called clip CTL here. And that's how that works. So if I wanna clear my, um, what is that? Clear my uh, clipboard history. I just hit clear and now I execute those commands. And now if I want to uh, see it again, right? Let's see my history, it should be blank, right? So it's blank here. And if I do this command again, it should be blank too, right? Anyways, that's how I use the um, clip menu with um, FCF. And I add this one to my um, FCF Nova. I can use it in here as my replacement launcher for um, D menu or Rofi. I don't need to use that. I just use my terminal and FCF. And I can access it here right using this menu. Or if you want to do it in the uh, terminal, you can actually just run FCF Nova and you have the same type of menu, All right? All right. Or if you want to just use it pure, like one single script, you can do uh, what is that? our script is called clip menu here. And there you go, you can access it that way. So, and if you want to access it with Tmux, look at that. You can actually use the Tmux pop-up and then you run your FCF Nova and then you do your menu. So however you want to access it, there's multiple ways, all right? Anywho, that's clip menu. Um, I like it, like I said, because I tried other um, clipboard management before, but most of them, they work really well in like the GUI, because GUIs, you can do like multiple lines and stuff like that. But once it gets to like the terminal stuff, um, they don't have support for multiple lines. It's kind of annoying. But this one, um, you know, they have support for multiple lines like I show you. So you can paste it properly and there's like no line breakage or something like that. Like I used the other one. Like uh, the other one I tried it with was, uh, was that copy Q? They do have a, a terminal commands, but like I said, it doesn't do multiple lines. So I had to skip that one. Green clip, same thing, no multiple lines. Great for single lines, but not multiple lines like this one. Anyways, that being said, you want to use this if you're, uh, you know, one of those person that use GUI and um, command line and you want the history to be working in both, then this is what you want to use. And if you want multiple line support, this is what you want to use. End of story. I'll be it for this one.